trying to figure out a good spot to stop at and a lot of stuff in the water that's for sure well what's going on everyone thanks for checking out another of my videos it's been a while since i've been on the water out here today on my friend kevin's boat hey everybody if you guys saw got a new boat and it's getting some work done to it right now we're getting uh garmin electronics some burn and win uh rod holders some other stuff going on to it so i'll show you a video pretty soon here once the boat's completed with uh, all the gadgets we added but for now like i said kevin's boat definitely a nice one right here so today we're in san francisco bay we're gonna try and get a halibut and i haven't caught a fish yet this year i was thinking the last fish i caught bluefin tuna crab opener november 4th i'm pretty sure it was the date so it's been five months since i've caught a fish feels weird but hopefully that uh streak ends today and we get on the board we'll be trolling uh some herring and we also have some anchovies i believe so we'll be trolling uh, probably one of each yeah good drop it down here show you what we're doing and like i said hopefully we can get a hell of it all right should be a fun one and we're uh, starting off the new fishing season with a new pair of shoes from high sea check those out so same brand i wore all of last year worked really well for me so they sent me another pair and i got a discount code for you guys if you guys are interested so we'll talk about it a little more later but yeah, excited to get a new pair of shoes on. It's kind of like the first day of school, starting off the school, uh, starting off the fishing season with a new pair of shoes. Really comfortable. Yeah, it's early, you know? Oh, the party boat stopped right here. We're gonna be good. Watch this, we'll be done by 10 o'clock. Right. There'll be all kinds of traffic. So we're going to go ahead and put the hook between his eyes right there. So. Rubber band's not necessary. I started using it a little last year. Kind of maybe holds the line in a way that it might spin a little better, but I'm not sure on that. But anyway, that's our presentation right there. So I'm Kevin's. Just gonna go with a uh, straight anchovy to the weight, no uh, splasher. See that right there? Got a nice little spin to it. Ready to catch a fish. Well, it looks so good. So we're gonna go down to the bottom. We want to fish as close to the bottom as we can without dragging the bottom. So Kevin's going to keep letting me know what the depth is. He said it's 19 and a half feet right now. And if that changes, then I'll have to adjust the line. So the other bait is some herring I caught here in the bay. So I'd say if you're trolling in about 10 to 25 feet, the uh, one ounce weight works perfect. So on mine we have a dodger to the herring. What do you guys think? The anchovy or the herring? What's gonna catch one first today? I guess because I have the herring on, I'm rooting for that. <laughs> so see how I'm rocking the boat and you can see the tip hit the bottom. So that assures me that, you know, we're real close to the bottom. And we'll check this side. Bam, see that? So that's how we know we're trolling right along the bottom. Let's rock the boat. Bait down there right now. So we're marking tons of bait, show it to you. It's a promising sign that there should be some fish in the area with all that bait here. So today, high tide was about 6.30 a.m. when we launched, and then we have low tide at about 2 o'clock. 
So we have a longer, you know, it's eight hours of outgoing tide, or pretty much be fishing an outgoing tide all day today, which I think earlier in the year is better because that warms the water up in the bay. We're taking the water, you know, farther in, that shallower, pulling out towards the ocean, if that makes sense. So it's bringing kind of warmer water from the shallows out here towards the middle more of the bay. So the water, you know, should technically maybe raise about a degree or two during the day which, you know, we're looking for about 60 degree water for halibut. I don't know if we'll get to that warm today, um, but we should get a degrees or two warmer as the day goes on. I wanted to show you guys my new Promar net. I must be rusty or call me an idiot, but I didn't have the chest cam turned on. I still wanted to take a second to talk about it. It's a 28 by 30 inch landing net. What I like so much about it is it's rubber coated so it minimizes damage to the fish if you need to release it. So it's great to use on those borderline fish when you don't know if it's a keeper or not. I've been using Promar gaffs, hoop nets, and other equipment they make for many years. I partnered with them back in 2022 and what's great is they just gave me a discount code for all of you guys to use. That code is Chris P and it's good for 20% off site wide for one month then that discount code will turn to 10% off. Now is a great time to gear up for the new season and take advantage of that 20% off. Let's put this net to work. I got this. You did? Yeah. Looks like we got a scratch tail there that we missed the bite. Well, that's exciting, right? Yeah, it's something. Bite, right there. And it bounced real quick. Something. Yeah, yeah, something. Kevin said he's just got a bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's on. Yeah, yeah. Grab it. It's an old you. Take it. You got one yet. <laughs> Alright dude, sweet. Yeah. Feel real big. It's a fish. Yeah. Alright. Try out our new net. Yeah, here we go. What do we got? Oh, a little little dink. It's a fish, right? I'm gonna try and get him there. Go down. There we go. Fish! Fish number one! <laughs> so the reel I'm using today is from Akuma. It's the Komodo SS. So it's the KDS-463. Works really well for lots of types of fishing out here. Definitely like it for the halibut. Uh, but you can use it for rockfish, sturgeon, salmon, I mean, really anything. And then both the rods we're using today are the same. The Kuma Monterey. There's the model, it's the medium action one. Really strong rod and a soft tip, that's what you're looking for. It has no problem trolling the one pound weight. Adam said he got one bite so far. Okay. In front, right in front of the marina. Oh, here we go. All right, here you Good? All right, here we go. Oh, that's a better one. Way better. How's it feel? Really good. Nice. Watch me be cool, though. It's definitely possible. Really nice, huh? Yeah, it feels really good. It's taking a lot of line there initially. Go. Oh yeah, it's real good. It's real big. It's, it's a gaffer. Do you have your gaff? Right here. This guy is gaff worthy. All right, start lifting. There you go. Oh, that's 
go. Good one. Sweet. Right on. Nice. One in the boat. Measuring board is right behind that cooler right there. So what's your guys' guess on the size? Looks good, 28 inches. What do you think, Kev? 28. You think so too, huh? Well, I think that's a good guess. Twenty-seven and a half. Close. Or I guess twenty-eight if you. Well, uh, <laughs> twenty-seven and a half, twenty-eight. Perfect. All right, I'm switching to an anchovy on mine. It's gotten the two fish to the boat so far. Personal preference, I just feel like it's a little bit easier to get a good presentation from the anchovy as well. How fast are we going? 0.9? Yeah, it's a bit Biggest ones are right there. Oh, there we go. Woo! Oh, that's not gonna die. They seem to like anchovy more today. Just mark that spot too. I don't think it's too big though, unfortunately. Fish at 20, 20, 20. Oh, it's close. Ooh, that's okay. Net, net. You the new net. Get him. Get him. I think it's a keeper. I think so. Feisty. Oh, we got one here. Yeah, this might this might be a good one. Nice. This is a good one. Nice. You want it? You got it good. I think the last one. Dude, we were almost stopped when that one hit. So I just started reeling this one up because we were pretty much neutral and we be Sean, this one feels like a good size one. Gapper. I can feel well, a good amount of weight. The gapper skills are. Yeah. It's not huge, but it's definitely a keeper. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there is a gapper, right? Yeah, you can gap it. Ooh. I think your gap's dull. Oh, my gap that really last sharp one. As hell. Is it? Really? I mean, it feels like it. I don't know. Well, oh, because the fish I gapped it didn't go through. <laughs> really? And then that one, you just hit it. Yeah, I hit it good. Why did it not go through? Where's he at? There you go. Got him. Oh. Dude, I'm even coming close. Is he? This one's out. How'd that happen? I took it out. Oh. Good job. Heck yeah, huh? Three in the boat at 8.30. Crazy. So Kevin's been marking the fish when we catch them. He said all three are basically the exact same spot. Halibut, seems like that's always the case. They're usually tight together. So these look more like mm, 24 inches. Twenty-four inches. And this one's maybe a half inch bigger. 
Not the same. So I want to show you guys this video sponsor. It's High C. So they make uh, boating shoes, different types of boots. Um, I have these on right here, these new black ones. Last year I wore these brown ones the entire year. They worked really well. They're 100% waterproof. Uh, keep you really nice and warm. Uh, they're really comfortable and uh, they seem to last really well. They're not falling apart. You know, obviously they're dirty because I used them so many times and caught lots of fish with them. Um, but yeah, if you're looking to get a new pair of boots, very inexpensive. I have a discount code for you guys to use. I'll have it in the description. I write it here for you. It's Crispy Fish. You can get 15% off. Um, I really like how they have the little toe stop there to take them off nice and easy. They have uh, a handle right in the back and in the front. Um, elastic around the sides. Uh, really nice and comfortable. Definitely go ahead and check them out. Oh, we got one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh yeah, it's still Is there. on there? Yeah. Sweet. It's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Right. Stop on the way home and grab some breakfast. It's pretty good. Oh, other side got one too. Mm -hmm. Grab that. No, one. we'll just get this one Two first. Bigger. He'll stay on. Right, there he is. You see him? That's nice. Good one. Oh yeah. Real nice one. Alright, you want to see what's in that one? So while uh, Kevin was bringing in number four right there, this rod went off as well. Number four looked pretty good. Oh, a oh, striper. Ah, striper. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That couldn't have worked out better. Yeah. I'm gonna bolt this guy. Yep. You want them or no? Uh, nah. Uh -huh. All right. Well, that's a keeper striper. Gonna go ahead and let them go. Probably about no 19 inches. This is a nice one. Yeah, you knock them. Yeah. Just you see that nine o'clock. Nice. Two twenty-eight inches. Right. Lead him out. All right, well, big smiles on the boat, huh, Kev? For sure. Wow, nine o'clock, and we got our limits, two apiece, 224 inchers and 228 inchers. What a day out here. Seemed like anchovies, that was the ticket right there. One on the Dodger, three straight. Don't forget about today's video sponsor, High C. Great deals on nice boots for your boat or other things like that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head in or should we throw down a jig real quick? Let's jig. I think we might throw down a jig, do some catch and release, so you know, we can get stripers too. It's and only 9 a.m. I know, so it feels a little too early to go back in on this nice day. Little uh, bonus footage now. So we're gonna try some jigs. We're gonna be using these red ROMs. I forgot the uh, AA branded ones. Used them last year with uh, Gabe on that video when we caught all the halibut, got halibut limits with the swim baits. But so, I like to use these red rums or those AA ones that you'll see in some future videos. Unfortunately, I didn't bring them today though. But I'll have links in the description for both of these. So we're going about 1.3 miles per hour right now. So we're just gonna drop this jig to the bottom and just bounce it off the bottom. We're not gonna cast it or do anything like that because we're moving with the current right now. Um, so yeah, get to the bottom and just jig it up and down. So if you're wondering if you can do this after getting the limits of halibut, you know, there's other species out here you can fish for. Um, we're just gonna be doing catch and release, whatever we catch right now. But because, you know, legally we can fish for stripers and keep those and catch them, um, you know, we can still keep on fishing. Um, you know, basically we're targeting stripers right now and the bycatch would be halibut.
Catch him on an artificial hook just in the lips right there. All right, let them go. And that's how they say to hold them. Hold them on the gill plates, but don't squeeze too hard. You just kind of hold them right there. Here we go. Dude, you're killing me. Oh, it came off. Dude, he was right at the surface almost, wasn't he? Got it quick. Dang it. <laughs> I live by fast, but you get that rod up and down though, huh? That was awesome, though, still. Hey, man, that was, that was something I've never done, so now I've done it, I'll do it some more. Well, fun time jigging. We did it for about 20 minutes. Got uh, one shaker and one got off. The red rum worked well. So, gonna head in now. Next video I'll be posting. That'll be of all the upgrades we're doing to the new boat. Can't wait to uh, get the new boat in my hands and uh, show you guys that video. So, see you on the next one. All right, later, guys.